you're thinking of moving to New Orleans or the surrounding areas, well, you've come to the right place. Today we're covering the surrounding areas. And if you live in New Orleans or even on the North Shore of New Orleans, a lot of people come out to Bay St. Louis because it's a really fun and super safe place to hang out. And it's not too far from a bunch of casinos as well, which is another thing that people like to really take advantage of. My name is Stephanie and I've been helping people for 18 years with their move to New Orleans and the surrounding areas. And whether you're looking to buy real estate in nine days or 90 days, please give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. And I'd love to help you with your smooth move. I can be reached at 985-300-5626 or weeksteam.com. So let's get back into what's important and that is beautiful Bay St. Louis. I love that it is small and it's quaint and it's safe. It is not boring because there's always people walking around, tons of places to eat, hang out, drink. We're gonna show a few different places today as we run around town. Our first stop is the Daiquiri Shack and that's where we're filming from right now. And I always love to get the vodka freeze. So make sure you check that out if you come and stop over here. It's light and it's white. So in case you spill, it's not gonna mess up your clothes and um, it's just got a nice little smooth, clean type of taste. And as far as like, just to give you an idea, it's about an hour from Covington. Covington. Yeah, about an hour from Covington. Probably also around an hour from New Orleans if you pop onto the twin span. And again, it's just so beautiful. Like I'm sitting here, I'm looking at the water. I was gonna say beautiful, but I'm not, because <laughs> it is really cool, but it's not bright and blue. And I'm looking at some beautiful oak trees over there which you can't really see and they've got a lot of the really cool restaurants and bars to stop in that you just walk along the street you can stop and grab your vodka freeze here at the daiquiri shack you can go over to buoys and get some yummy drinks and i hear some really great burgers over there as well and then you can also go to the blind tiger where they also have good drinks and their cheese fries are really awesome over there, so you wanna check that out. Then you can also go over to Fields, which is another one of my favorites as well. They have a lot of different yummy food to choose from, and they have really good Tito's lemon drops and really good Tito's dirty martinis as well as some other drinks that other friends try, but I pretty much stick to the good old when I go there. Um, another place, is uh, the loft, which we're gonna go into and show you a little bit later as well. And there they have charcuterie boards and they have really, really good drinks. Last time I got this like cool watermelon drink, which when we go over there, I'll show you kind of a picture of the menu and everything and you can see what they have there to check it out. And they also have live bands as well. So that really is a lot of fun. Whether you wanna stop in and just have lunch or dinner somewhere, you can do that and hang out with friends. Or what we like to do is, like we did last Sunday, was really fun. A group of friends came and we just stopped and got appetizer and drink, went to the next place, got an appetizer and drink, and so on and so forth. So it was a really fun afternoon with beautiful weather, just like today. But of course, we are in Louisiana, so it is hot and it is human, humid, <laughs> which is why the Vodka Freeze really, really comes in handy. The other good thing about this is you know, a lot of people are migrating over here. So whether you wanna buy a home that's a second home, primary, or maybe even investment property, a lot of people are migrating over here, moving themselves and or their families over here. What I love about the downtown Bay St. Louis area is you can walk, you can run. Like, I feel like everything is within blocks. And one of my favorite places to go for breakfast is the Mockingbird Cafe. Like, everything on the menu is so good and definitely worth a stop in over there. And then you can just walk right back home and then you wanna go out for lunch and then you can go back out for lunch. Like Beauregard's is a yummy place and their food's okay, but oh my gosh, they have fresh muddled fruit drinks, such as like the blackberry mojito, which is unbelievable and so fantastic. So if you go there, you definitely, definitely wanna make sure that you try that blackberry mojito. 
And like I said, it's also a safe area as well, which is great. And if you're here and you wanna to go to the casinos, there's two that are within probably, well, there's one within like less than five minutes. There's one that's probably 15 minutes. And then there's several that are about 45 minutes away if you wanna go check out the shows or maybe go do some gambling, but it's not too far. So I hope you check out Bay St. Louis and stay tuned because we're gonna go ahead and, and go over to some different places and show you what they look like and let you check out some of the, the drinks. I better drink my vodka freeze really fast because I don't know if they're gonna let me bring this into the other location. So wish me luck and I'll see you in a minute. Now we're here finishing up the day and rounding out by stopping in at the loft. I'm here with a couple friends and we're grabbing some drinks, but they can actually do weddings here as well as events like they had a bridal shower last week. It's so beautiful. I really love the decoration. This is actually a painting painted by Andre's mother. Andre's one of the owners. Um, her mother, Mary French, who's a wonderful artist and also a beautiful lady as well, and so nice. And so you can kind of check out and see outside, but you're getting nice, cool air while you're in here. I love, it's like high tables kind of made out of, um, what are these things called? Uh, oh gosh, what is that word? Barrels? Yes, super, super cool. They have cool like red velvet um, bar stools, which is also really cool as well. And they have really good drinks. Last week I got the watermelon mojito, which was so good. And today they actually made me a blood orange mojito, which is also absolutely fantastic as well. So they've got this nice little bar area and they've got a bigger area as well, as well as a balcony. And Andre is the singer of Andre and the Giants and they actually sing here and all in New Orleans and on the North Shore as well. And they'll actually be here this weekend. So we'll probably be back on Sunday but I did not want to finish Bay St. Louis without stopping in here, giving them some props for having great drinks as well as great atmosphere. So thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you around town.